Time now to turn back to meteorologist Clay Smith in the Storm Alert Center who is in with us today for Hannah. Here's Clay. Well, good Wednesday to you, Tennessee Valley. We have changes coming down the pipeline later today. Now, so far, we've had some pretty nice weather. That'll continue through about sunset. Temperatures will continue to climb into the 60s. We'll have gusts as high as 20 to 25 miles per hour. But again, our next weather maker going to come in later tonight into tomorrow morning after about 10 p.m. to we'll say 6 a.m. tomorrow. That's when we're going to see the best chance of consistent and sometimes heavy rainfall. We'll also have those gusts continuing 20 to 25 miles per hour here in the valley, occasionally up to 30. Higher gusts in the mountains of up to 40 to even 45 miles per hour. We'll pick up one to even two inches of rainfall and we'll have some wet roadways going into your Thursday morning commute. Plus, if you work third shift tonight, you might want to just leave a few minutes early because it's going to be raining pretty hard overnight. Here's a look at your wind guys continuing at about 25 miles per hour this afternoon. Tonight, as that cold front gets closer to us, that's when those wind gusts are really going to pick up. Look at Scottsboro, gust over 40 miles per hour, almost at 40 miles per hour. That'll continue for the first part of your Thursday morning. So there could be some sporadic power outages with some of these stronger gusts coming through, but we're not expecting any severe weather. So no tornado threat, no threat for straight line winds, just some gusty winds ahead of this front. And here's your setup. So heavy rain continuing to settle in across Mississippi and Alabama this afternoon. We have tropical moisture from what was Hurricane Raphael moving in and ahead of that front. It's going to help pick that up. So add these two things together. We're going to get a pretty good chance of seeing some nice rainfall. So the rain coming into play between about two and four. So the next couple of hours across Middle Tennessee, I'm thinking after five to around seven, that's when we'll start to see the first rain. Now, of course, the more consistent rain going to come in a little bit later during the evening. And as we take a look at your future cast, so by about five o'clock, notice the coverage is pretty light. So no, no major issues for your evening commute home to work. And then after seven, eight o'clock, that's when the rain becomes more steady and consistent. We could have a few rumbles of thunder, but again, not expecting any severe weather by 230. Still very heavy rain across the Tennessee Valley continuing until about 6 a.m. And then notice how quickly it starts to shift from west to east throughout the morning by about 10 11 o'clock most of this is going to be to our east we'll still have a few sprinkles and overcast guys will stick around for your thursday but most of the rain is going to wrap up by the time we get into thursday afternoon how much could we receive well i'm thinking anywhere from one to even two inches is going to be possible and here's a look at your latest future cast rainfall from our in-house model again these vary a little bit but in general i'm thinking one to two inches at the most of rain going to be possible which of course we need it we had the second driest october on record 14 hundredths of an inch of rain and we've only had just over half of an inch so far for the first two weeks of November. So it looks like we're going to have more rainfall tonight into tomorrow morning than we had all of October and the first part of November combined. So some good steady rain on the way that'll linger into your Thursday morning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fall like dry conditions. And then we could have some more showers with warming trend coming into next week.